back to my channel. My name is Allison, and today we're making some delicious gluten-free banana muffins. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest videos. All the ingredients you need are listed in the caption, or you can follow the list right here. We're making these mini size, so they're perfect for after-school snack for the kiddos, or you can have it for breakfast. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Before we begin, make sure you have a large bowl to mix everything in and a handheld mixer. You also have the option to do all of this in a blender. Okay, so when you're ready, let's go ahead and start with the bananas. We're gonna begin with one and a half mashed bananas. Put them in the bowl. A tablespoon of honey, and honestly, I do like to eyeball it, but if you're a measurer, go ahead and get your tablespoon out. But this is going to actually substitute the sweetness for regular sugar. So there's no added sugar in this recipe at all, which makes it really great. Coming up, we have vanilla, and we're gonna do three quarter teaspoon. This one I am gonna measure. Go ahead and take it, I'm gonna do a half, and then another partial of that one. All right, so three quarters of that. And finally, one tablespoon of melted coconut oil, and incorporate that all together with your mixer. Once that mix, let's go ahead and add our dry ingredients. We have one cup of almond flour. Now, if you really don't like almond flour, you can definitely substitute regular flour or whole wheat flour. But for today's recipe, to make this gluten-free, I'm gonna go ahead and use almond. So measure out one cup, and then you're gonna put it in that same bowl with the wet ingredients. And then once you have that, I am using tapioca flour today. So again, another substitute for this is cassava flour, cauliflower, cauliflower flour, or coconut flour. But this is just what I have on hand at home. So this is gonna be one quarter cup. And you're gonna notice that this is very, very light. So this is gonna what's make your muffin super light and airy. And if you do are using coconut flour, you might have a little extra coconut flavor to it which if you like coconut, that's great. And we're gonna go ahead and put three quarter teaspoons of baking soda. And I'm gonna be just shy of the one teaspoon measure that I have here. And that's gonna let your muffins rise so they're not completely flat. A little dash of cinnamon to your tasting. I like cinnamon, so I add a lot. And I am adding a little bit of salt and this is gonna balance out that sweetness. So you can put as much or little as you like, but I'm just doing a very little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and blend that all together again. All right, so once you have that, scrape down the sides again, and then just stir it all together. Once you're done mixing, go ahead and grab your mini muffin tins, or if you wanna use full, that's fine as well. And make sure to spray it with some nonstick spray, baking spray, um, coconut oil, whatever you have. Now you're gonna fill this till about two thirds of the way full. I'm just gonna use a little spoon and start filling these up. Now they are gonna puff up just a little bit, so you don't wanna go all the way to the top. So I think two thirds full is a perfect amount. I did make this recipe a few weeks ago for my son and he loved them. I was actually pleasantly surprised because I wasn't sure how he was gonna take to the almond flour substitute for regular flour, but he really liked them and he asked me to make them again. So I'm actually gonna make this batch for him for after school when he comes home today. But these are a great family snack um, as well as for yourself. You can easily freeze them. I freeze most of my baked goods, whether it's cookies or muffins. Um, and I find that as long as you either wrap them up and you know put them in a baggie, it keeps them really well and you don't get that freezer burn. All right, I'm on my last one. Go ahead and scrape this off to get everything in there. And then if you have any leftover batter, you can kind of top off any ones that look a little shorter. I need to clean up my area a bit. I had one that went overboard. All right. This is going to go into a 350 degree oven for nine to 11 minutes. Once it's done, go ahead and take a toothpick and test the middle to make sure it comes out clean. While the muffins are baking, let me tell you about my new favorite nutrition tracker app. Trainist is a personalized nutrition tracker right at your fingertips. This isn't your average calorie counter. Let's take a closer look. Trainist is a brand new nutrition tracking app that you're going to love. It takes the time to get to know you, like asking about your goals, activity level, and even connects to the health feature on your phone. 
Based on that info, it whips up personalized nutrition goals just for you. And guess what? It's completely free. That's right, no hidden fees, no subscriptions, just pure nutrition tracking goodness. Logging your food is a breeze with Trainest. You can either type your food into the search or easily whip out your phone and scan the barcode. Instant nutrition info pops up instantly. In addition, you can save past meals for easy reference, making consistent eating a breeze to log in. Given that they are in beta, the app team is currently adding all requested features that align with their vision for the app. Trainist doesn't just throw calorie numbers at you. It breaks down nutrition info so you know exactly what you're consuming. With this information at your fingertips, you'll be able to develop the habit of making better choices with each meal. My timer just went off, so let's check them out. They look pretty good. Let's go ahead and let them cool, and then we'll try one out. These are so yummy, and you can feel good about giving these to your family or eating them yourselves. Make sure to check out the recipe in the caption and in my blog. Let me know in the comments if there's any other recipes you want me to try. Enjoy the rest of your day.